Holy cow, Lionel screwed up this one. Here's Austin Sendrick's 2019 Moneyline Playoff Ford Mustang. Howdy, howdy, folks. It's Diecast Buffet here again, back with another NASCAR Diecast review. Uh, yes, it's a NASCAR Authentics car from Wave 1, 2020. Um, I was actually going to review this last week. I got sick. I had to film the door last cup race, so here we are. Uh, <laughs> here is Austin Sendrick's 2019 Moneyline Ford Mustang. Uh, this is an Xfinity car, and this is the first ever playoff Xfinity car I've ever owned. I've never had one of these. Uh, this is an exclusive. Uh, I don't think they made the standard paint scheme or anything like that in the Gold Series for 2019. Uh, so you get a giant round of eight. Uh, sticker here, which is, you know, it's always cool, I guess. Um, you got the Moneyline Ford Mustang here. A beautiful package. I, I gotta say, man, the color on this thing is fantastic. It's like a beautiful teal, you know. The Moneyline, like that green, it's a little bit more bluish on the actual back uh, backing card compared to the race car itself. But I tell you, it is a beautiful color, man. I would love uh, to have furniture paint painted that color, you know, like like a, like a bookcase or something. That's beautiful, right? Uh, so here's the back of the NASCAR Authentics, uh, you know, card for 2020. I've reviewed all these, so if you want to see any of these diecast reviews, I know my hands are literally dry as crap, bro. I know. I've been putting freaking lotion on them, man. I tell you, it's been crazy. Uh, but if you want to see any of these reviews, link down below. And, uh, you know, before we go ahead and, uh, you know, open this diecast, uh, make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. Helps out the channel a lot. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get Austin Zendrick's 2019 Moneyline Xfinity Ford Mustang out of the box. Alrighty, folks, here she is, brand new out of the packaging. Wow, man, look at this beautiful teal and white paint job. Now, I'm not a huge, you know, huge fan of the Xfinity series because, you know, I never get to watch anymore. I, I used to love watching it, man. I used to get up at 7 in the morning watching the practices, but once you get a job, you, you, you can't do that stuff anymore, unfortunately. Uh, so here's Austin Cendrick. He is the poised, uh, up-and-coming uh driver for the penske branch and i tell you what it ain't gonna be too long before we're gonna see him in a cup car uh this is a playoff car i don't know exactly which race this ran at anyway so you got the car here you know you got your penske scallops you got your teal blue you got your white uh you got a red spoiler and a freaking what is this uh, a colgate toothpaste stripe splitter uh amazing job line out so over to the nose of the car, you get money line, which literally looks like you know one of those like um those old school like envelopes, you know, little uh, little uh, wax stamp they put on the, the the seal or whatnot. That's what it looks like, a little wax seal they put to close the envelope. Got a big old cat looking at it. Uh, you got pencil Ford Mustang. I mean, you can see the you know the Mustang grill and it's so much smaller on the Ford Mustangs, and you got you know your smaller headlights to go along with it. Got a black 22, got mechanics wear, Sunoco. Look at this freaking splitter, guys. This just bugs the daylights out of me. I mean, the entire splitter, like literally the actual mold for it is all like white, right? But then you got red that's just chilling on top of it. I'm sorry, it looks like crap. I mean, just make it all one color or don't make it at all, I'm sorry. Um, it, it, it's distracting. So you go over here to the left side of the car, you get Austin Cendrick, uh, two race win stickers, which I think are from the road courses, if I remember correctly. You got Ford, uh, whatever that is, PPG, Mazak, Freightliner. Uh, can't read that one. I can't read that one either. That's great. LTI, uh, printing, I think that's what it says. SKF, Moneyline, discount tire. Got some, uh, I guess this is a race version car too. Oh, did that just literally just scratch off? No. I don't know what the heck that was. Uh, so you got Discount Tire, Menards, um, what is that, Pertec? I think they're making a Keselowski car with that on it, too. It looks a lot like the uh, the Dickies car uh, Blaney drove, like that kind of like blue, red, and yellow, but it's like a dark blue. It's like a dark blue jean blue. Uh, so you got Snap-on, you got the 22, you know, the Logano-esque uh, scallops. Look, this confuses the daylights out of me, right? I seen it in OBB's video. They got the round of eight joint there, right? That I, I expect that. But what the, why is there a freaking NASCAR race car badge here? And why is there no NASCAR Xfinity logo? Did Xfinity get butt hurt and say they didn't want to be on a Penske 22? Is Penske so butt hurt they don't want to have any contingencies? I don't know. 
I, I truly don't know. Um, but I tell you, the NASCAR race car logo. That, that it looks stupid. I'm sorry. It looks stupid. That's supposed to be there. And if they have the playoffs, at least from what I've seen, they don't put the badge at all because they have, you know, the round of eight joint right there. So, in my opinion, that just, it just looks, it just looks like slapped onto the car. Like, it's not even intended to be there. Uh, so, you got the Goodyear logo there, which is like a dark blue, which, I don't know. I mean, it don't look too bad, but, eh, I, I probably would prefer a different color. Maybe, maybe like a bright yellow or something. I don't know. Uh, but I tell you what, the wheels, though. You can see as of like the last few years, like the, the wheel color, the, the color of the part of the wheel, they actually keep getting wider and wider. And I don't know if they like air, you know, brush it in or do they like just shoot it? You know, they take the tire and just, poof. I don't know if they do that um, or they just, you know, just go around it with a brush. I don't know what they do, but I, you've noticed take like a 2010 or a 2015 uh, colored wheeled race car. And compare it to a 2019, uh, compare it to a 2020 car that has colored wheels. And you'll notice the, the, the colored part of the wheel is a little bit wider and it gives a better sense of three-dimensional depth. And in my opinion, it looks a lot better. Uh, but you can see how these are a little bit wonky jaw though. So over here to the caboose of this Mustang, you got the, I mean, perfectly red freaking spoiler. And I'm sorry. You could paint this any color in the freaking rainbow. It's not gonna look good when the main paint scheme is a complete abstract to it. I'm sorry. You could paint it pink. You could paint it as blue as freaking Squidward or as yellow as SpongeBob. That, that's a Race Day 2011 reference, but <laughs> shout out to him. I tell you though, it's just it just it looks so distracting on the race car. I mean, just imagine this. That looks pretty. That looks. That looks pretty darn good. Okay. Why? I. I just. I. I don't know. So you got uh, download money lion. Uh, money lion once again. You got the twenty two. You got a little bit of uh, what? The, what the heck is that? A canyon crack there. You got a GT logo. Uh, I like the. You know the the tail lights here. You know. And then over here to the right side of the car, and what I mentioned earlier about how the, the, the rims are kind of wonky, y'all. Look at the right side of this, how it's just not coated, but the, the, you know, this side when I scoot it over, that's coated. I mean, look at that. That looks pretty darn good, right? And then you take it, and then you do this, and you can clearly see the rim size is different. So I don't know if they just, like, airbrush it, like they have the nozzle, and they just, you know, you know brush it on, you know, just shoots it like that. I don't know if they just take a swab. I, I don't know if they take the finger they pick their nose with and just freaking just dab it on there. I have no clue. But I tell you, it's it, it's not consistent. Uh, so once again, you got, you know, you got your money line. You got your uh, whatever the heck of this is. I guess some ants crawling on the die cast. Um, yeah, you got all kinds of goodies. Uh, whatever that. What the heck is this? Good Lord. Looks like some, like, looks like an old t-shirt that's all, like, wrinkled up sitting at the bottom of a drawer. I mean, what in the world? And then over here to the roof of the car, you got the 22, which actually is almost the same size as the door. I mean, like, this one's a little bit scrunched up because it's a different font. But, I mean, if you really think about it, there's a lot more real estate they could put that 22 there. But, eh, it don't look bad to me. I do like the Xfinity roofs. You know, it's just a simple stock car roof. No BS. You know how the, the cup cars, they have the longer roof. So they put up everything they can on the freaking roof. And uh, what in the world? Nothing on the deck lid. Wow. Uh, that's kind of surprising. But then again, it is a Penske car. They've been really like, I don't know. They, like, if they ain't a primary sponsor, they don't want it on the car. That's literally what it is nowadays. Like they don't want no contingency. So... I ain't surprised to see a empty deck lid. And of course, since this is a NASCAR Authentics review, you do get this giant red square. Yeah! Uh, so you got this little square here, you know. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't look too bad like that. You know, it looks a little bit better, but it makes a good backdrop. But I, I still tell you, I mean, it just clashes so much. The red clashes so freaking much, man. Uh, but all in all, though, a nice little sticker. Alrighty, folks, that is it for today's diecast review. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And of course, you know, 
consider subscribing. I post NASCAR diecast stuff all the time. And of course, you can go ahead and check me out on Instagram for even more NASCAR related content. I post, you know, NASCAR diecast stuff, you know, what I think about, you know, NASCAR rule changes, all that jazz over there on my Instagram at diecastbuffet. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you're having a great one. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video. Hope you're having a great one, guys. Diecast Buffet. Signing off.